Joining me now is Michelle Bird, unfortunately, one of the many who lost their homes in the Bastrop fire. Michelle, take me back to that day. I remember uh, it was raining embers, but it was turning into a fire the second it touched the ground. And I had two little chihuahuas and I was, did not want them in the house, hearing all the noise, no electricity, no air conditioning. So I did go get them and took them to the fire station, locked them in an office. And at the time, my house was safe. It's at the front of Tishan. It was literally two blocks from the fire station. And I was on McAllister Road. And I heard an engine come up. And they were hollering that they needed help, that they were being overtaken. It hit me hard that if he was being overtaken by fire and that engine was in trouble, my house was in trouble because of where he was positioned. So I literally left McAllister Road and when I pulled up in my driveway it was raining fire it was too late it was hot it was burning from the front the back the side and my uh, chief at the time and my assistant chief showed up and they said we have to get out we have to get out and I said no because I was a firefighter and if I can't save my own house, kind of fuzzy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got drunk kicking and screaming out of my driveway. <laughs> and um, we had to pull back and I watched as the fire moved through that part of the neighborhood. Did you get to save anything? I mean, you know, mm. we had never stopped long enough to go empty our own house.